guys, it's me, Sydney, and welcome back to my channel. So, today we're going to be doing a Joy Lab Target Activewear review. And I'm gonna be so honest with you guys, this one was highly requ requested after I did my first video in the series, and you guys sent me some brands, and since then, I have been dropping lots of money on activewear that I personally have never even heard of. But I'm excited because I get to give you my honest review. Um, I don't really shop at Target in their clothing area just because it's just not my thing. But activewear is my thing. So today I am going to just tell you guys my opinion on all these things. I have my the tags still on these because I purchased them so I could tell you guys what I liked and what I didn't like. And then I'm just going to return what I don't like. Um, one thing I do want to mention is the fact that I am doing this because you guys requested it. I'm not trying to trash Target or Joy Lab. Um, I'm just doing it because you guys wanted it. This is my honest review. And yeah, so with that being said though, I am 5'9", I'm 200 pounds currently. Um, my, okay, so I just want to go over some other like sizes that I usually wear. So usually in leggings, I am a size medium to large, never an XL in leggings. Um, I usually can go closer to the large side, but like I can, you know, usually get myself into a medium. And then for tops, I'm usually a large, never really a medium. And for sports bras, I'm usually a large as well. My chest size is 36 double D. And yeah, so I'm gonna be doing try on clips so you guys can see exactly what these fit. I did not buy anything that was an XL. I only bought larges and I think like I bought one medium, but I kept everything mostly at large. If I were you and you're getting this brand, I would definitely size up. A lot of these are a little bit more tight and like, they irritate your skin. So, with that being said, I'm actually wearing one of the tops right now. This is one of the ones I'm going to be keeping. And we're going to start off with this top just because I'm wearing it. I'm, you know, I'm going to talk about it. I have all these clothes right here. I'm going to put them on the ground so I can focus. But so they have it in the gray and then the black. Target sells Joy Lab. It is exclusively a Target brand. So, if anyone's wondering, the only place that you can get Joy Lab is at Target. They do sell plus size. Um, and then they have bottoms, layers, tops, and it's not too expensive, but at the same time, like, I feel like there's some brands that are, you know, some of these things I would never pay money for. So, with that being said, though, I mean, if you really like some of the things, you can go and check them out. I'll have these products linked down below. First thing I want to start off with is the top that I'm wearing right now, and they have it in two colors, the gray and the black. I'm actually in love with this. I feel like it's really good quality. Um, it has the little finger hole. I feel like it's really good for someone that is lifting at the gym. Um, cardio, not so much, but if you're lifting weights or you're trying to look good and still be active, this is super awesome. I like the fabric. I think it's really good quality. This is definitely something I would splurge on. It is $24.99, so it's not something that I normally... I'm a cheapie when it comes to things, so... I mean, I'd buy one of them, but not both, if that makes sense. And I really like the way they fit. The gray and the black are just really nice colors. And the fabric is really nice, and I know it'll hold up. Um, I think it's really good quality, too. And I'm wearing a large in both, and they fit really well. It's a little bit cropped, and it fits me really well. So if you're wondering size-wise, get a large if you're around my size. The next thing I want to talk about is this set. So this is also Joy Lab set. Obviously, everything in here is Joy Lab. I got this in a large and I can usually squeeze into a medium and the reason I picked up this medium was because I wanted to see can I even fit into these mediums. I can't. So don't even try to size down. Um, if you are debating, definitely size up on their leggings. This is the mid-rise legging. I think it's a cute set. I think the sports bra for this style is actually super supportive. Um, I did the jump test and the girls were held in. The only thing is, um, I could definitely wear an XL in the sports bras from the Joy Lab collection. So if you are debating, I have an XL in the sports bra that I'm wearing under here, which I can show you guys right now. This one, it's really cute. It's really nice. It's an XL, fits perfectly. So if I were you, this brand would be a sizer upper, you know? Don't, don't chintz yourself on the sizing because if you'll, you'll end up getting muffin tops and stuff from it. But I like this. I like the detailing. I like the fact that the set's really cute and it has high support. On to another sports bra. I like this one that I'm wearing. I like the other one. I hate this one. I don't ever suggest getting straps like these. These straps are so itchy, scratchy. Um, I just feel like there's the pads in it and I just feel like you're paying a lot for nothing and I feel like 
you can get a lot cuter sports bras and the high quality ones. This is $20, so it's not bad, but it's just something I wouldn't spend my money personally on. I feel like it's lower in the support. So if I were you, I would skip this one. It says mid coverage, but it's just, I don't like the adjustable straps on this. So if you have a smaller chest, definitely supportive, but the bigger your chest is, don't even get it. Get the ones that have the thicker straps on the top like this. The next one I wanna talk about is this one though. I'm absolutely in love with this. I love the detailing. I love the like pattern that's on it. And I love the support. So we're just gonna take a second. This one is a size large. I definitely would go up to an XL for myself, but the large still fits. Um, it is $20. I'm telling you right now, $20 for this, it should be 15. This one, though, on the other hand, is so awesome, super supportive. I'm absolutely in love with it. I'm probably going to go in size up when I go and return some of the things and just return the size because, seriously, I'm in love with the detailing in the back. There's an open back. There's the cool straps on it, and it's just really nice and flattering to my figure, and I can wear this as a top or a sports bra. I'm, like, in love with this one. I would highly recommend this if you're looking for a good, high-quality, high-impact sports bra. This one's a good one, and it says full coverage, and I like it because your boobs don't fall out. Okay, so this next one, I got it in a size large. This one's $20, and probably the best $20 I've ever spent, you guys. So, high key, I don't think that this should be an active wear top whatsoever, so I'm going to tell you. There's, like, it's a cami, basically, but the fabric in this is so nice. Um, I think I can figure out what fabric it is. So, it's 81% nylon, 16% metallic spandex, and 3% spandex. The bust lining is 91% nylon and then 9% spandex. But it's so pretty. I just love the way it fits my body. It holds my curves and it just flatters me. I'm probably going to be keeping this one and wearing it when I go out because I just feel like this one is very flattering to my body. Summer's coming up but I would never wear this to the gym. So, I mean, I feel like this is like not gym worthy, but it's cute, so yeah. Okay guys, so there are two more items and they're both long sleeve, like outerwear type things. I am someone who likes comfortable and flattering things to wear. I do not, I'm not okay. I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm not a huge fan of like those um, asymmetrical jackets or anything like that because at the end of the day like I want something that's gonna keep me warm or be fashionable be comfortable and this one right here I would definitely wear I feel like it's really nice the only thing that I don't really like about it is all the snags that it already has and I bought this yesterday so if you can't see them there's like random snags in it I'm not a fan and I will be returning this just because I feel like the fabric is cool but it's also not one that's like gonna last a long time. It was $25, which isn't bad at all because a lot of these are normally extremely overpriced, AKA the next one I'm gonna show you. But this one is a good price. It's just the fabric gets snagged really easily. And if I hadn't done this video and I would have worn it, I probably would not have been able to return it because it got snags before I even realized it, you know? Um, I would wear it if it were still winter, but it's not, so. I wouldn't I wouldn't spend your money on this right now so the last one is this one and I think it's disgusting I don't like the way it fits at all I think it's not flattering and it's just there's things that I just don't like about it specifically the um, fabrics really nice like it's great it's comfortable but like I don't know the zipper is a really good quality which I like as well those are two things I like now we're gonna talk about what I don't like about this I don't feel like this is athletic wear I think it's athleisure so if this is an active wear brand they shouldn't be coming out with a bomber jacket that you don't wear in the gym I don't I don't think you should um the other thing though is the fact that the back is higher than the front but like it just doesn't look right on your body it makes your body look boxy if you're trying if you are my size and you're trying to flatter your body stay away from bomber jackets or boxy types of jackets like these because they already make you look bigger plus if it makes you look boxy it's just not a good combination so if i were you don't spend your money on that but with that being said, that is my review. I want to take a second though to now like kind of recap everything so then you guys know. So for those of you who are new to my channel and you guys have never been here, hey, my name is Sydney. With that being said though, I wanted to create this series for you guys because I know what it's like to see models on the Target website wearing things. Like they have plus size models, so don't get me wrong. But 
the thing is when you aren't plus size but you're also not a size small you want to know what things feel like what they look like and I want to be able to give that to you guys so that's what this series is for if you guys have anything you guys ever want me to review please leave it in the comments down below direct message me on Instagram but for the recap of Joy Labs itself, I think it's a pretty brand. I think it's nice. I think that there's a lot of pieces that I would never spend my money on and the leggings are nice, but I'm not a fan of the fabric. I feel like you could get better leggings from 90 Degree by Reflex and spend a little less of the money, like $5 less on the leggings and you'd get better quality, high-waisted, more flattering to your body if you're my size. The matching sets are cute. I think that the things that you can splurge on with Joy Lab are the matching sets because I think they're cute and the sports bras that have the thick straps, I think they are supportive. And then cool things like this that have really nice fabric because I will be keeping this and I'm excited because I like it. I think it's cute and um, it's versatile. I can wear this going out. So with that being said, will I ever be purchasing something from Joy Lab again? Probably little pieces here and there, but like I said before, I'm not a huge spender when it comes to um, activewear at Target, and I also I'm not a huge fan of like all of their stuff. I think that a lot of it is made like mass produced, so it, I don't know. It's just mm, I don't know. It's just eh. I would rate this brand though a 7 out of 10. If you guys are interested though in purchasing any of the things that I showed you, I'll have everything linked down below. Obviously this is my opinion, your opinion could be totally different because we all have different ones and um, yeah. So with that being said though, I love you guys so much. If you guys are you know new to the channel, you haven't subscribed, please do that. And uh, don't forget to comment down below if you guys enjoyed this video, what your thoughts are, have you tried this brand before, are there any brands you guys want me to do. Um, make sure to follow me on Instagram and yeah, I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys next time. Bye babes!